Annie Glockner. Sam Van Baren. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, we have in front of us some drawings. Am I supposed to look at that camera? You can. Hide that camera. Okay, we're gonna draw. Yes, we're gonna do some drawing, and we have the drawing, the drawing view here. I can, um, I can orient it. Hold on. It's it. Give me, give me a second. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's on. It's on. It's on me now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so we're gonna have the drawing view going the whole time. Okay, that's great. Just back and forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, for sure. It's gonna look at you for most of it because you're the the guest, though. Um, you know. How's college? College is good. It's weird. In what way? It's a weird time in your life. You're an adult, but you're not an adult. Word. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah, you're not even in college. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, like, I don't go to school. I'm going to draw your house, okay? Okay. That's a, that's a good idea. I'll draw your house. Okay. I don't know what the outside of your house looks like. I already forgot. Oh, this pin is red. I had no idea. My house is not red. <laughs> Sam. Sam. I did not it's, say. It's an artistic view. I should put my mic closer. Put it right there. Ah. Okay. I'm really good at art. Actually, my little sister is pretty good at art. But and so is my other little sister. Speaking of and little I'm sisters. Just trash. Oh. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? I have seven. Seven siblings. What is what? What's it like to grow up with seven siblings? Um, it's crazy. We live in a we live in a three bedroom house, so we had four girls and four boys. So four girls shared a room, and four boys shared a room. It's always busy and loud, but it's fun. What? what that's. Oh, you're the eighth. Okay. No, <laughs> you were I'm like, not the eighth. I, I know, but like you, oh. you said you had seven siblings and you said four boys, four girls, and I was confused. Yeah, math ain't math, and you know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really a math guy. No? No. Um, you, uh, you watch a lot of clips of this show on, on Instagram. I do. Are you excited to be one of the clips? Yeah, I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> for a really long time. <laughs> And I'm just glad that I finally made the cut. Yes, because I'm just working my way through every single interesting person I know mm. before Jordan Peterson emails me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you I don't know who Jordan Peterson is? What? <laughs> How do you not know who Jordan Peterson is? Tell me is? who it is really quickly. And, I'll, um. and then we can just cut this part out and pretend that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how this show works. It's it's raw. It's uncut, except for the parts I don't want in it. <laughs> um, Jordan Peterson is. He was a professor at this college in Canada, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna reangle this uh, this this shot here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna focus on on your paper. Oh no! I'm drawing you. Um, so he was a professor at this college uh -huh. and um he got like popular because of this this his political views because he um is he conservative he is very conservative actually i think i've heard of him before. but he's a he's a philosophical conservative so oh. he, he did like this 15 part um lecture series on the psychological significance of the biblical stories oh. so he went through the whole like chapter of um genesis and That's he was like interesting it's it was so interesting i i listened to like five episodes of it during work wow that's absolutely perfect that is exactly what my house looks like it's not done so i'm okay, gonna need sorry. less sarcasm <laughs> sorry. um but he talks like this he he's like it's a bloody good way to get yourself into hell man um and wow he's it, an interesting guy yes and he's he's so interesting and um i actually bought ben a one of his books um 12 rules for life mm. um for christmas what are one of those rules um stand up or uh sit still and sit up straight i think definitely the sit up straight part but not maybe not Does the sitting on your part. legs count as sitting up straight because i'm a small human so i just sit on my legs <laughs> right now to compensate for it Right now I'm sitting on my legs like a 12 year old boy who hasn't hit puberty. <laughs> Describe yourself in one sentence. Well, I consider myself a 12 year old boy who hasn't hit puberty yet. Um, 
Um, anywho, he's a really smart guy, Jordan Peterson, and I really want to have a conversation with him. And Hello. and my my dad was in a men's group with uh, with Matt Frad. Yes. Matt Frad um, has had Jonathan Peugeot on his podcast for a, a lot, like a, okay. a bunch of episodes. Jonathan Peugeot is good friends with Jordan Peterson. Oh. So, not very many deviations to connect me to Jordan no, Peterson. No, and I'm only one level off from you, Jordan Peterson. Have like, you met Jonathan Peugeot? No, but the thing is, it's like <laughs> Jordan Peterson's famous level, my famous level. <laughs> it's like a multi-millionaire, Annie. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm a millionaire. <laughs> um, so what school do you go to? I go to the University of North Georgia. Mm. Go Nighthawks. You know what I mean? Talons mm. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Talons all the way out, whatever that means. It um, means what you think it means. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Have you ever read The Princess Bride? Princess Bride is my favorite movie, but I've never read the book. Uh, the what's what's great about the book is like it's exactly like the movie. It's just more of the movie. I've heard that a lot of people that like the movie didn't like the book. Well, those are idiots. Okay. Objectively. Okay. No. Jordan word. Peterson says so. Mm, I think you're putting words in Jordan Peterson's mouth. I don't know. I guess I'll have to have him on the show for him to... That's crazy. Does he have to be on the show, Jordan Peterson? Um, to validate that. I, I, I'll probably get Matt Fratt on the show before I get Jordan Peterson. Really? Yeah. How's your How's your podcast growing? Um, it is growing at a uh, very steady rate. Um, I'll tell you exactly how many um, how many listens it has. What's on, the name um, of the podcast? To interview them. Because mm. I'm 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 trying to interview them. Yeah. No. For sure. <laughs> 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 That's how every conversation about a person who's trying to start a podcast goes. It's like, hey, yeah, me and my buddy are trying to start a podcast. Oh, sure. Well, what are you going to call it? To interview them? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I hope that, that goes really well for you. Um, we have had uh, 47 plays in the last 30 days. Um, Whoa. Yeah. The, the most popular is um, Tommy's episode. Mm. Um, Famous guy. I know Tommy. Tomiford, as they call him. <laughs> Everyone calls him that. Tomiford. You know, isn't that what they call Tom, um, Tom in Parks and Rec? Did I make that up? I don't know. Tom Haverford? Yeah. I don't think they ever call him Tomiford. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just what I call him. <laughs> you just go into your dorm, there's just a bunch of pictures of Tom Haverford, you're like, hey, Tomiford. <laughs> Theoretically, of course. Theoretically. <laughs> What's your favorite question to ask on the show? Um, what is the greatest life lesson you've learned in the past year? Mm. Um, no, I wasn't asking you. You just asked me a question, so <laughs> I answered it. <laughs> But it, sure, what's your... No, 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 I have a question for you, Sam. <laughs> okay, okay. What's the greatest lesson <laughs> you've learned in the past year? Mm, the past year. So between February 22 and February 23. Um, uh, that's a great one. Um, Grow up. That's a good one. Mm, just like... Just straight up grow up. Yeah, like get over yourself. A yeah. little bit. Um, uh, don't go to a school you don't like the people at. Valid. Yeah. That's that's good. I'm going to try a new method. I've never really done this when making shingles for my house. How many house shingle drawings have you made? I, I make this house quite a lot, Sam. <laughs> this is the you only draw thing. my house a lot? Well, I actually put a spin on this one. I haven't done this before. I'm, I've put in a lot of spin on this. Isn't that going to look too similar to the... It's going to be colored differently. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we have, we have crayons. The too. greatest life lesson I've learned, thanks for asking. Yeah, you're welcome. Is... <laughs> 
um, this year is that I think feelings are not reality. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think a lot of times um, I get caught up in the like, oh, I feel this way, so this is how it is. And it's like, no, just because you're upset doesn't mean that it was bad or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Don't feed into your feelings because sometimes they're stupid and they don't deserve to be fed into. And facts don't care about your feelings. Straight up. <laughs> Vince Shapiro taught me that one. Love that, um, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to choose between Daniel or Ben Shapiro. <laughs> you really hit me with a tough one there. I think I'm going to have to go Daniel. Not really, not really a fan of the yarmulke. <laughs> yeah, the Jewish thing sort of um, clashes with your Catholicism. Yeah, I honestly kind of like the yarmulke. I mean, I like I, I know I just said I didn't. And I think, but I do like the fact that it reminds me of like a tiny Pope hat. <laughs> Do you do you have a, a thing for yarmulkes? I have a thing for tiny pope ass. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll do it then. I just I love when the pope wears his little hat and like he has no hair. So uh -huh. how is that on his head? Uh -huh. You don't know, have his head at all. Like that thing's flying off. Does, does he like glue it every morning? That's what I'm wondering. It's not bobby pin. Is it a suction cup? <laughs> <laughs> like a like a um a uh, plunger, <laughs> it just sticks. I'm just so fascinated by uh -huh. it. I just yeah, and it's fun. Like, why do what why do we have that in the Catholic Church? Why do we have tiny pope hats? <laughs> what what is that? You should start a start an online business, tinypopehats.com, where you sell tiny pope hats. I also like that. Like the bishops also wear the tiny pope hats, but they have a bigger hat, and so I mean the pope does too. But like they have that like, goes on top of the tiny. So pope when they hat. take off their big hat, they still have the tiny pope hat on well it's actually the seat for the rat to sit on <laughs> it's ratatouille it's ratatouille but with bishops <laughs> um what's your what's been your faith journey my faith journey segways are weird <laughs> yeah i don't really like to ride on them Aren't those like the little? No, that's a what's a? Well, they're like the hover hoverboards, but with the the stick and the. And yeah, the it's handle. a segue. Yeah. <laughs> Never ridden on one, but I feel like I wouldn't like riding on them. Maybe I would. Um, my faith journey. Mm. I think I grew up cradle Catholic, so you know, casual. Mm -hmm. Um, basically I went to church because my family went to church, as you do. I went to Catholic school. Um, Which Catholic school? Virginia Taylor Academy. Did it's you fun. like it? I liked um, certain aspects of it. I think it was good for me at the time. Mm. But then I left and I went to public school in ninth grade, which I think was also good for me at the time. Um, Lord has a cool way of doing things when they need to be done. Yeah, it's crazy that he like <laughs> knows how to do that. <laughs> It's like he's all knowing or something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then I, in high school, I really started like diving a lot more into my faith, and I had a big conversion and adoration in Steubenville, Atlanta, mm -hmm. um, the conference. Wow, that was a lot of pausing. But, and yeah, I don't know. And then I did, and then in college, I really like really dove into it, and I was like, okay, this is my chance to like really like take initiative and like it's all mine and it's not like I don't go to church because my family goes to church and no one's babysitting me not that I need to be babysat but like no one knows if I go to mass on Sunday except for me so uh -huh. like it's it's mine and so I got to really make it my own and I did summer missions with Life Teen this summer Ooh. and it's been really great I think the biggest switch I've been like trying to work on recently is like really fostering a personal relationship with Jesus mm -hmm. as opposed to like before it was like oh I just have a knowledge which base knowledge is good but like I think Jesus is a real person that we can know and I think what <laughs> wow just the real what what is that a lake what is it uh, no they're cloud houses <laughs> dang it Here, I, didn't know, I didn't know we were making cloud houses <laughs> I just had a, had some creative liberties with it I told you my house isn't on a cloud though and I'm drawing your house not with that attitude okay you're right <laughs> Um, we are halfway into half of the show. Um, so we're a quarter of the way in because that's how that works. 25 cents. Um, so why are you Catholic? Because I believe it has the fullness of the truth. And, um, 
So tell me why God exists. Oh, dang, bro. <laughs> why does God exist? Yeah. What is like St. Thomas Aquinas says five reasons for God's existence? I yeah. know one of them is the uncaused cause. Which is? Um, which is everything that has a ma that everything that has a beginning has a cause. Like, so like the beginning of the day has a cause, which was like yesterday. And um, so at the beginning of everything, the the cause of the universe cannot be inside the universe mm -hmm. because like something something material can't create what is it? I'm, I'm reading this book called Answering Atheism by Trent Horn right now. Oh. And um, it's, a, it's a really fun read. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it goes through all, all these, these this, it logics its way through God. And um, it talks about like the, the uncaused cause and how um, everything, like time and space cannot be caused by something within time and space. Yeah. Because you can't cause like something greater than yourself. No, for sure. So, so, <laughs> so it has to be caused by, um, by something eternal, like something greater than time and space. And, um, that doesn't really explain an all loving or all knowing God, but it, it just explains a God. It expla explains a cause. Is there a way that we can like explain an all knowing, all loving God? Because I feel like as far as like my human brain goes, it, like it doesn't make sense. Like I understand that he is, mm -hmm. but like the human love that we experience, like I think a lot of times we project the love that we've experienced through humans onto God. Mm -hmm. So like humans love imperfectly. And so we don't believe that like God can love perfectly a lot of times because we haven't been loved perfectly by the people in our life. Mm. And so we project that onto God. At least I do. And I know a lot of other people have said that they do. And so sometimes it doesn't make sense that he would be like all merciful and all loving and all knowing. And like, it's like, oh, if you truly know me completely, like why would you love me completely? Yeah. Well, he like, he... <laughs> Every aspect of him is greater than we can understand. Like, so much greater. Like, the the difference in DNA between us and monkeys is, like, 99.9% .9 the same. Yeah. So, just a tiny jump in, in like change can can create a massive change in like intelligence and understanding and that's what Neil deGrasse Tyson said but I, I think it's part of like the miracle of our being made in the image of God but like God is a being so much greater than us that we can't even comprehend like one percent of him so it it's there's a level of us that we can never, there's a level of him that we can never understand, but we can reason our way through it. Like, if you can't, you couldn't tell me how an iPhone works. Yeah. You can, t you can describe to me, like, somewhat how it works. You can say, like, well, it, it uses electrical signals through the transistors and the chips in it, and it, like, receives satellite information and Wi-Fi information to display stuff on LCD screens. But, like, if I asked you, well, how? You... <laughs> You wouldn't be able to tell me. Are you telling me that? Are you saying that I don't know how to make an iPhone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> so, like, God is infinitely greater than an iPhone. So true that. But we can still we can still understand Him, but we can never fully understand Him. So true. Which is kind of frustrating. It is. It's kind of annoying of Him. <laughs> how dare He? I feel like our brains would explode if we fully understood him. Well, like the the people in the Bible when they saw the the Ark of the Covenant, they did they explode? Yeah, like you you've seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. Like so long ago, <laughs> like I don't even remember. Like the face melting. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. I was young. Divine providence. You know what I want to watch? What? Star Wars. I haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> I love. I mean, not a long time. It's been like a year, but that's too long. I don't okay. like the new Star Wars though. The new, the new the series. New trilogy. The sequel trilogy. Yeah. Should I draw my son in the corner? Um, no, you should draw it in the center. <laughs> I will not be doing that. But yeah, I didn't like the new, the new trilogy, which I feel like most Star Wars fans didn't. Um, Did well, you? I, 
I did. I was oh. really annoyed at Ryan Johnson. Oh, wait. Tell me why you did, because I'm about to go off. Well, the the first movie, The Force Awakens. Okay, um, that one was decent. It was it was basically just a rehash of, of A New Hope. It, it was. It was like a new A New Hope. It was exactly, it was like um, the same plot. But I don't care, because it's a fun movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't I didn't have that much issue with it. Yeah. I was like, okay. I mean, um, like, it's basically the same, but like at the same time, whatever. It was yeah. still decent. I mean, the first New, new Hope, that was an excellent movie, so you uh-huh. Do it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, but the thing is, when you, when you, when Disney goes and says, "Okay, we're making a new trilogy," mm-hmm. and they say we're going to have J.J. Abrams do the first one, have Ryan Johnson do the second one, then have J.J. Abrams come back and do the third well, one. Well, I don't think that was intentional. Like, like you're. When Ryan Johnson's whole thing is taking things that are already established and like changing expectations, it's it's not good when he's doing the middle the middle movie, because it's like instead of instead of creating a, a compelling story, J.J. Abrams for the third one has to resolve this nine movie long plot <laughs> and fix all the issues that Ryan Johnson made. So, so like if Ryan Johnson had done the last one instead, I feel like it would people would have been mad because he would have still shaken things up. But it would be the end instead of the middle. I understand what you're saying, but I don't care what's still trash. <laughs> I understand that like maybe they did the best with the, what they were given, mm-hmm. but how about they were just given something good? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Like if you're gonna redo Star Wars, one of the biggest like franchises ever the most mm-hmm. popular you gotta do it right mm-hmm. you can't be put in trash like no well that's also another thing is that star wars is so big that they have so many differing views of people to like appeal to yeah and so no, no matter what you do <laughs> i really hope the mics didn't pick that up no matter what you do you're never gonna like satisfy all of them no so instead, you satisfy none of them, and that's what they did. <laughs> that's what they did. Yeah. What the crap was the emperor? Okay, episode oh, nine. Oh no! That would be so bad. <laughs> Let's just undo Darth Vader's whole entire arc of his story. Line. And, and the, just... the incredible ability they had to bring him back, like the storytelling. They were just like somehow Palpatine <laughs> returned. That's it. And now Ray, freaking Ray, is his his granddaughter. So when did he get married? When did he have a child? Where was that in the storyline? And then also at the end, Ray's like, "I'm Ray Skywalker." No, you're not. Like <laughs> no. you're not. If you don't you don't associate yourself with the Skywalker lineage? I don't know. It was just that movie made me so mad. And it's yeah, they just undid Anakin's whole entire like legacy. His whole legacy, like he turns back to the good side. But, but no, the Emperor died. So what's the point? Who was Anakin's dad? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Am I supposed to know this? Exactly. So my thought process is, <sighs> um, Anakin's dad was Palpatine. So like, Pal- so Anakin Skywalker. Palpatine, Palpatine Anakin. caused like Palpatine. the the um, immaculate conception of Anakin Skywalker, and because um, that's what it is. Like like he doesn't have a dad. Like the Force caused him to be born. Oh. Like that's. Is that what the storyline is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I like At least I dad. think so. I'm like not... he has a dad his mom's life <laughs> yeah. because she doesn't know who the dad is. <laughs> well, he, he can't know anymore because he's dead and That's... she's dead and everybody's dead. I kind of forgot Anakin had a mom for a second. I forgot like the whole... <laughs> He just came from nowhere. <laughs> in my head, Star Wars started with the Revenge of the Sith, and that was it. And then I was like, wait a minute. Revenge of the Sith? Oh, yeah, that's the third that's one. That's the third one. I kind of forgot what the <laughs> Attack of the Clones and uh, the Phantom Menace uh-huh. even existed for a second there. And you had, like, little Anakin. Um, do you know who Andrew Tate is? Yes. What's your opinion on Andrew Tate? Not a fan. <laughs> What's your opinion on Andrew Tate? Um, he's an interesting character. Um, there are some. There are. Some, he's got some good qualities. He's got some really funny qualities, and he's got some bad qualities. I think his bad qualities outweigh his good qualities. There's good in all people, uh-huh. but I think he said a lot of horrible things that I don't think he should be saying. But also, I don't believe in censorship. Okay, uh-huh. I don't believe that like his freedom of speech should be taken away. 
But, I don't know, isn't he in jail? Uh, I think so. Something like that. As he should. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, there's this whole thing. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> the multimillionaires in jail. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> no, we were watching this video for class, for government class. There's a whole thing about, like, censorship on, like, college campuses and how they're trying to get rid of free speech. And I'm mm -hmm. like, because people are trying to say we have to get rid of hate hate speech. Are but, you done with your drawing? Um, I don't know. I think I might be done. Okay. This um, is you outside your house. <laughs> that looks exactly like me. Yeah. Here, here, show it to the show it to the camera. Then you need to turn it. Yes. Put it, put it up. No, no. Put it, put it up to the camera. Whoa! Look at that high quality image there. Are you, um, are you hanging this in your house? Yeah, I will. I'll, okay. I'll, you know, I actually have a frame in my in my my bedroom that I need to put something in, so I'll throw that in there. You gotta sign it though. Okay. Get a get a pen and sign it. I've I've talked a lot, so I haven't done much. That is the worst signature ever. Um, immaculate signature. Wait, is that is that your first name and that's your last yeah. name? <laughs> How? How is that? How? What do you mean? Like, how do you have such a different signature from your first name to your last name? Oh, I just started giving up on my last name. <laughs> I'll write my real signature. I'll show you. Okay. And then show it to the camera so I can, um, I can forge your handwriting for any documents I need. Well, considering my last name changes a lot. Oh, yeah. Word. So uh, you got a boyfriend. Oh, no. I just messed this up. You have a boyfriend. I do. Um, he used to look like Jesus. <laughs> no longer? No longer. Wow, that's... Um, I that's, messed up on the E, but... That's definitely better. Yeah. Here, I'll show you mine. Oh, he darn did it. used to look like Jesus. He had long hair and a long beard. Did you did you prefer that to no. his not beard? I no. Did not. I still liked him when he had that, but I prefer he still has a beard. It's just not as long. Uh huh. It's shorter on his face. That's mine. Nice. Yeah. Mostly, basically, just says Sam Bam. Do you know my name was Anne? But it's not though. But it is. It's Anisha. <laughs> I remember I didn't be correct to stuff. <laughs> I was there when you were born, Annie. I don't think I you saw were. That doesn't right. say Sam Jamin, so I don't think that's your name. <laughs> um, no, I'm Anne, but I go by Annie for short. <laughs> for long. <clears throat> I broke this pen. I fixed this pen. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's. Here, I'm going to make you a Valentine, okay? Because it's Valentine's Day. Cool. What, should, what color? No, you can't tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, let me see how much light we have on this camera. We have one minute and 56 seconds. Oh my gosh, I got to make a one minute Valentine? Yes. Uh, psh, 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 psh. This is, um, I'm, I'm showing just the plot of Avatar 2 in, in my drawing. There you go. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a picture of this and then have this as the, as the thumbnail for this show. <laughs> It's the fact that my, I can't even sign my own not, whoa, name very well. I, I also can't talk. <laughs> Let me put it completely in frame, and then we'll have it as the background. We'll have all, all, all of our photos as the background. There's, there's, there's mine so far. Oh. Um, and I already got yours. Put it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the plot of Avatar 2 for those who haven't seen it. I haven't seen Avatar 2. Well, this is the plot of it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the way of the water. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, we will be right back from break and then we'll do some of the same stuff, some of the different stuff and uh, everything in between. Enjoy this commercial from our sponsor. <laughs> and we're back from break. I'm shorter this round. 
<laughs> hate it when that happens. Um, we are going to draw portraits of each other. Oh, no. I just made your head have a bump in it that doesn't. <laughs> um, I'm excited for this. Me too. I'm really bad at drawing people. I'm really good at being creative when it comes to these things. So I'm going to make it ultra realistic, which means it's going to be really bad, which <laughs> is not an insult to your, to, your to my face. <laughs> it's an insult to my drawing skills. Uh huh. I feel like you have like decently sized ears. It seems like that sh that shirt you're wearing should be a turtleneck. Like it feels like the no, yeah. The type of material it is, it like seems like it should be a turtleneck. It, it yeah. I haven't worn this in a while, and then I put it on, and I was like, wow, I should wear this, and then I was like, whoa, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> and it's red. And Saint Valentine wore red. Word. I don't know. I Do you know the story? He like was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Most saints were. Do you know the story of St. Valentine? No, no idea. He, um... Okay, this gold necklace is really thick. Oh, no, I messed up your nose really bad. You're faceless, currently. Oh. Um, St. Valentine was, like, put in jail, and I don't remember why. Probably oh. for, like, doing something good. He, he was doing stuff at the wrong he was in the wrong place at the wrong valentine i'll look it up right now okay. and, he, and he and the reason we get valentines is because um he signed something love saint valentine oh or i guess it wasn't love saint valentine he's like love valentine i'm giving you some thick eyebrows oh sweet yeah um, his sacrificial love, ascensionpress.com. I feel like that's reliable. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's a sketchy website. Oh, Father Mike Schmidt, uh, catechism, catechism in a Year. Uh, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what was the decree? Oh. Yeah. Oh, they, it was for engagement and marriages were for, forbidden at the time. Engagement and marriages or engagement in marriages? Well, just like marriages, but yeah. That's right. In 300 AD, <laughs> during a great time of persecution in Rome, Emperor Claudius at the time passed a law prohibiting marriage to further his agenda to force men to join the Roman army so that the focus would not, be, would not be on fighting recklessly for the state and not back at home with their wives. The focus would be on fighting recklessly. Yeah, okay. So, he forbade marriage. And St. Valentine was like, nah, bruh, I'm going to still marry people in secret. <laughs> um, and so that's why he performed secret sacraments of marriage to couples. And um, he eventually was caught and imprisoned and sentenced to death. <gasps> um, while he was being held in confinement, he befriended the jailer's daughter, who was blind. He miraculously healed her in her blindness. As a result, the daughter, the jailer, and his whole family converted to the faith in Christ. Um, the night before his execution, he sent a letter of encouragement and farewell to the girl, signing it, From your Valentine. The next day, he was brutally beaten with clubs and stone and finally beheaded for the support of true love and marriage. If I had a nickel for every time I, that exact same thing happened to me, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. What is that from? Phineas and Ferb. That's what it is from. Yeah. Your nose doesn't look like this, but it's also... The Your one. entire face doesn't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's insane. Imagine marriage getting forbidden. I know. That's like in China when you're like only allowed to have two kids uh -huh. except that's not the thing anymore and now they're having a problem where there's like not enough women Bigger. and like the communism problem yeah well that's like yeah Tiananmen Square now we're getting banned in China oh no this looks really bad stop looking I'm sorry <laughs> can you smile okay you have a line here and a line <laughs> here oh lots of little lines oh no you look old Oh, you can't really see your eyebrows. You look malicious. One of your ears is bigger than your other ear. You don't have ears. <laughs> <laughs> you have hair. <laughs> okay, if you woke up tomorrow and marriage was forbidden, what would you do? Um, get married. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Dude, who? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm not really romantically involved with anyone right now, so it, it just myself. You can't marry yourself. Not with that attitude. 
How many kids do you want, Sam? I want between two and uh, six. No, no less than two, no more than six. Okay. Because <laughs> um, I feel like I have uh, three siblings, but Tristan wasn't really around mm -hmm. because we adopted him when he was 16. Um, so me, Ben, and Jude, like the trio, is really was really fun. Um, and Do you have blue eyes? I have hazel eyes. Okay, they're going to be green. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is the wrong color for your shirt. And so three is really fun because, um, yeah. And then um, four is also really interesting because you have like two boys and two girls. Oh my gosh. Annie Francis Louise Glockner, what have you done? How did you know that was my middle name? <laughs> it's not. Uh, what is your middle name? Elizabeth? Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm a basic white girl. Yeah, no, you're a basic Catholic white girl. Usually Marie would be the first go-to for that. Anyways, yeah. I think I want to have between, like, four and ten kids. Between 17 and <laughs> 35. I liked growing up in a big family. And I, I, uh, yeah, I like a lot of, I love kids. Yeah, kids are great. I don't think I could just do two. Do you feel like you were neglected um, some way by your um, by your astronomical amount of siblings? I genuinely don't think so. I don't know if, like, that's just my experience. You know, everyone has different experiences, but I don't think uh -huh. I was. I think I was very loved by both my parents and, and by my siblings. A lot of people say it's like, oh, like, how could you love all your kids? Like, how is there enough love to go around? Like, the love just multiplies because now you have more people to love those kids. Yeah. So... You know, and God gives you, he gives you what you need. But I, uh, yeah, I, I liked it a lot. I didn't feel neglected. That's good. I'm, I'm glad. Oh no. I did. I felt neglected. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love my parents. My parents are like top five. Top five parents or top yeah. five people? No, no, no. Top five parents. Oh no. The parents that I have are, are top five. I'm barely even in the shot. That's frustrating. Let me let me fix this camera real fast. Uh, yes. Stop looking. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be so impressed. Oh, I looked. You did? I did. I'm sorry. Sam! I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's not done. It'll look uh, better. I don't even remember it, so it's okay. Good. <clears throat> No, you need it a little, little bit darker. Good. I'm not pale. <laughs> yeah, that looks about right. Does that look about right? Yeah, yeah. that's excellent. Uh -huh. I didn't even try to match yours. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing with your life now that... Well, I used to work at this place called Express. And then you quit. I, and then as I quit. of today. Yes, as of yesterday. Yesterday oh. was my last day. Um, oh, no. And so I'm doing this podcast thing, if you didn't know. Um, Making those big bucks. Big bucks, yeah, yeah. All, all 11 views. Um, and, yeah, that's the plan. And then I, I'm sort of writing a book. Yeah? Um, but Do you have a general topic of it? What? What's the general topic of it? It is a, um, a sci-fi fantasy anthology. Um, you didn't see me just try to shove the marker. In the <laughs> <laughs> I did see that actually. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's called the Genesis Manifesto. Oh. And uh, I've been working on it for a while. I'm just kidding. I have like three pages done. I'm stealing your name. <laughs> 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 Dang it! <laughs> I haven't told anyone about that. Well, now it's, gonna be <laughs> now it's yours. I already patented it. <laughs> While we're talking, you're just under the table <laughs> texting. Okay, what's something unique about Sam that I should add? Um, I have a scar right above Wait, my. Is that a mole I see? Oh, you have a freckle right there. <laughs> How dare you? I have a scar right above my um, my left eyebrow because I was being chased by Ben when we were younger and um, Max was falling behind him and Ben chased me like 
up against a corner and Ben moved out of the way at the last second, but Max <laughs> didn't. So Max's teeth went right into my face. Dang. Yeah. That's rough. It is rough. I, I also... am the cause of most of my little sister Katie's <laughs> injuries. <laughs> As you should be. I feel like that's the role of the older older sibling when to we do were, that. When we were young, we had like this inflatable chair we'd push around on the hardwood floor and she would ride on it and I'd push it. And she fell off a lot and got injured a lot because that's just who she is. <laughs> And she was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I was like, stop being a wimp and get back <laughs> on the chair. And then so she got back on because obviously I was convincing. Uh -huh. And then I pushed her and then she fell off and landed on the fire on the corner of the fireplace and bust her head open, had to get it glued back together in the ER. And then another time we were on these bikes and you know how bikes have like pegs on the back? I do know. Yeah, she was on the back on the pegs that I was driving <laughs> and we were just like zooming down this <laughs> zooming down this uh, this hill. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Katie, you should jump off. <laughs> <laughs> and she did it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I was my intention was never for her to get hurt. I just thought it'd be cool if she jumped off. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking. Of course, of course. And it was funny because right before she fell, she was like, oh my gosh, we could be in the circus. This is really cool. <laughs> she was like, we're like, it's like a circus trick. And I was uh -huh. like, yeah, for sure. And I was like, okay, I count of three jump, one, two, three jump. And I turn around, I jump, and like the bike gets way less heavy because she jumped off. And I was like, oh, she'll just be like on her feet, you know, classy. <laughs> I turn around, just like pancaked on the road. She was just like, <laughs> In pieces. <laughs> she was just laying flat. And um, she broke her arm. Wow. Yeah. I fell off my longboard um, riding down a hill in our neighborhood and scraped the tip of my knee off. You can't see it because I'm wearing pants. Good. There it is. There's the, there's the scar. Do you see it? Whoa! I have a scar on my knee. Yours is like a divot. Mine is raised. Whoa. Wait. <laughs> you can't see it because I'm wearing this. <laughs> oh, wait. This is going to be really hard to get over my knee. That was the wrong knee. <laughs> <laughs> How do you manage that? I don't know. Look. Okay, I'll come show you my knee. Okay. Do you see it? See how that's raised? Yeah. It used to be way bigger. It used to be really huge. Uh huh. Anyways, you just acted like you didn't see it. <laughs> Did you see it? Yes or no? I saw it. Why were you like, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is built different. Okay, it's a real time. <laughs> oh no. Okay, uh, let me finish your necklace. Oh. It's got Mary on it. Uh, I'll it's draw, a miraculous medal. I'll draw a little, little Virgin Mary. That's my yeah. rapper name, little, little Virgin Mary. It's not, it's not sacrilegious at all. Yeah, I was like, I don't think... Oh, no. I thought this was black. Now you can have a red chin. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it when that happens. <laughs> all right, you first. Let okay. me, um, let me, let me angle it. That's upside down. Are you ready for this? I think I really captured the color of your eyes, though. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the wrinkles that get around your eyes when you smile, uh -huh, uh -huh. which made you look like an eight-year-old man. But it's just smiling, Sam. Uh -huh. These are your lips. Your upper lip is a little Here, thin. Let me, let me you have a the... thin upper lip, but your bottom lip is about average size. I'm, so I'm I tried to show that. Real quick. And then there's the little freckle you have. <laughs> there's the little freckle you have. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then your nose, which is the only way I know how to draw noses, so don't be mad. And then I drew your ears, which I thought were pretty proportionate. Cool. Sam. <laughs> you got to sign it. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, my turn. <laughs> ah, wait, come back. Okay. Let me pull it back Signed. a little bit. Are you ready? Yeah. So this is you. Why am I orange? <laughs> I, I thought the evil. skin tone was going to be Why right. Why did you make me evil? <laughs> I didn't want to draw your teeth, so I just put insert teeth here. <laughs> um. <laughs> Why do I have slits for eyes? <laughs> Creative. Creativity. I look like I'm going to murder you. <laughs> you are. I thought mine was bad, but <laughs> relatively speaking, mine is so much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you said you're bad at drawing. And my hair isn't even straight. <laughs> <laughs> you got some curls in there at the bottom. In the picture? Yeah. Oh, wow. See, you see that, that angle? Why is it so wispy? <laughs> I'm literally balding. 
Hey, I just I just drew what I saw. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> Six episodes in, somebody already somebody already walked out on me. Okay, let me sign mine. Where? What's one place you want to travel the most? Malta. Where's Malta? It is an island off the coast of Italy, um, or sort of far away from Italy. But the um, there was an order of knights that got exiled there, um, so they um, they established like there's a bunch of beautiful architecture and there's a bunch of um, like cathedrals and that kind of thing. It's very it's a very Catholic culture, so it's really cool. That's really cool. I kind of want a honeymoon there, but it's also really expensive. Um, so I might just honeymoon at St. Simon's Island. Marry someone rich. What? Marry someone rich. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Problem solved. <laughs> Marry someone with rich parents. Or both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that works, too. I want to go to Greece. Greece? Mostly based off the movie Mamma Mia. <laughs> I have not seen Mamma Mia. I watched like 25 minutes of it. Okay, you should watch Mamma Mia with me because the experience makes so much different. Uh huh. Mamma Mia is so good. And <laughs> Mamma Mia 2 is like, I don't know, maybe even better. Really? Yeah. I, I'm a big fan. I actually watched Mamma Mia 2 the other day. Isn't it like... The best movie ever? My mom, my mom doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, because she doesn't know who her dad is. And I get that. <laughs> I get the immorality uh -huh. of it. If you can just look past the immorality. <laughs> I mean, what even is moral anymore, you know? Well... I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get Aquinas on you. <sighs> no, I know. There's such a thing as morality. I would not, yes. uh -huh. I would not actually say that. But... It's a good movie. <laughs> Have you seen the movie About Time? No. That's objectively like the best movie ever made. Objectively the best movie ever made is Princess Bride. Well, no, my favorite movie is About Time. But my favorite movie is Princess Bride. Well, that's probably better. Do you want to know a fun fact about me? What's... I've never been on a plane or an airport. Hold on. Give me one second. What's a fun fact about you? <laughs> ah! I have never been on a plane or inside of an airport. How? I've never had to fly anywhere. But you're you're 19, right? You're, yeah. How? So do it. I'm scared. <laughs> what do you mean? The, I've, it's been so long. I had to have to go with someone because I can't just true. be going in the airport by myself. Uh huh. I'll you be kidnapped. You're one of your girlies. You're, Where you're, are we gonna go? <laughs> I don't know. You think I got money for that? Colorado. Why would I go to Colorado? Just because? Um, because it's a six-hour drive from um, Wy uh, Lander, Wyoming, so you could visit Haley. Mm, are you going to Wyoming? I am. I'm going next weekend for the Founders. But you're, are you going there for school? I'm in the fall, yes. Okay. I've been accepted to, to Wyoming Catholic College. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll come visit you when you're there. Cool. I'm done. I'm, I'm getting dragged back in November for Mary's wedding. Um... Me and make her, make her, make her do her wedding in Lander, Wyoming. <laughs> I don't, it's it's so difficult because it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Like the the closest airport is five hours away, the Salt Lake City Airport. So oh, that's funny. So like it's it's just cradled in this nowhere place, and it's really frustrating. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the podcast while I'm there. Like film it. Yeah, <laughs> but I'll just, it'll just be the season of Wyoming Catholic people where I just interview Wy people from Wyoming Catholic the whole time. Or you'll get what's his name to come over. Jordan Peterson. Yeah, Jordan. Don't fly in. <laughs> don't fly in. Don't yeah, in yeah, yeah. I'm down. I'll, I'll, I'll even have his daughter on the podcast because she, she runs like his, his business and stuff. Mm. Um, and she seems like really interesting too. So I'd be happy to have either one of them on there. Um, nudge, nudge. Do it. Word. Word. Um, where would you want your honeymoon at? Greece. <laughs> Okay, it, give give a give a cheap destination and an expensive destination. We already have the expensive one, but what about the cheap one? Cheap would be like probably in the United States, right? Yes. Um, I would love to go out west. There's so many pretty mm. things out west, and uh -huh. I really want to like travel the United States because there's so much in the United States that we haven't seen. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It'd be really cool. There's like all these pretty waterfalls, mm -hmm. and I haven't seen the Grand Canyon. That's like on my bucket list. That's like the number one place I want. I don't get. I don't get the Grand Canyon. Like it's big. It's a big hole in the ground. Yeah, so I know, what? But it's just like pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Big holes are cool. <laughs> <laughs> on the beach trip, you know this. Yeah. But our viewers don't miss know this. We went on this this trip um, with our youth group to to um, this beach, and it was a it was it's a private our section is like a private part of it but it's still on the beach and my goal this time and the last time we went was just to dig a big hole in the ground like that was it and the the issue with that was the turtles because the turtles could fall in but like i i i was gonna dig as much as i could and then bury it when we're done but then this guy came up and he was like what are you doing? I'm like, I'm digging a hole. And he's like, okay, just fill it in when you're done. I'm like, sure, yes. Another guy came up, this grouchy old guy, and he was like, you need to you need to fill it in right now because you're violating some ordinances here. And did he use the word ordinances? He did. He used the word ordinances because like the the shovels we were using were metal and you're, you weren't allowed to use metal shovels for some reason. And then like the... Was he into like an actual like official guy? Yeah. Okay. So, so he, was not the beach to, police. he was allowed to use the word ordinances. <laughs> not the beach police. <laughs> beach please. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I hate that guy. Remember when you got absolutely fried and turned into a lobster <laughs> and then roasted. you literally yeah. slept for like three days because you were yeah. miserable? <laughs> was it worth it? <laughs> was digging the hole worth it? <laughs> no, because it wasn't even that big and they filled it in without me. I didn't even get to, I just walked out there and it was gone. <laughs> And you had a sunscreen. <laughs> and I was covered. Like, yeah. Why did you not reapply sunscreen? Because, I don't know. I was hoping. I, I don't hoping get tan. You weren't weak. I want a tan. How, is there sunscreen that tans you? Can you? Sun, sunscreen doesn't prevent tan. Oh. At all. Oh. It just protects you from the UV rays. The UV rays are what causes the tan. No, I know, but you, if you put a sun, if you put sunscreen on, you're not gonna not get tanned. But, but, so it prevents you from getting burned. The tan comes from the UV rays getting absorbed into your skin. Yeah. The sunscreen blocks the UV rays. Yeah. Therefore, the sun, the, the UV rays do not make it to your skin. So. As much you as they will. cannot get tan. I get tan all the time when I wear sunscreen. What SPF? I reapply, I don't know, 50 usually. Mm. Well, then I'll, I'll... But I also am probably more likely <laughs> to get tan than you are. Yes, we're fair. That's, that'll be my goal this summer is to get... Don't stop wearing, sun don't stop wearing sunscreen. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to wear sunscreen. Okay. Just a, a, lighter, a lighter SPF. Yeah. No! It's not worth what it. What would you do if you got terminal cancer? Like, like how many how many days do I have to live? Like what kind of like how terminal? Three months. Three months. Six months. Like I find out tomorrow. You find out tomorrow. Okay, I'm dropping out of school because what's the point? Uh huh. Um, my friends and I talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's They're really, dropping really, out of school with really me and we're traveling. Uh huh. I'm that's like, that's cool. I'm, yeah, and we're going to travel, and they're like, yeah, why not drop out? Because I mean, like, if I'm dying in six months, why not spend my last six months with me and then go back to school? Yeah. I'd probably go spend time with, like, my family for a while. Uh -huh. I'd work a little bit to get a bunch of money, just a little bit, mm -hmm. and then just travel. Call up the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I would, I would... I wish for infinite wishes. <laughs> yeah. I'd call everyone I ever loved. Word. We have a long list. Yeah. <laughs> your boyfriend from eighth grade. <laughs> hey, I think just I had a boyfriend I'm dying. In eighth grade. I don't know. Just I like I had an awkward. I had an awkward high school relationship. A special friend. Not the special friend. <laughs> I hated that term so much. <laughs> I know, we so never annoying. used that term. <laughs> no, I use that term. No, I know you use that term. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I knew you were when you were in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> no, in middle school I didn't have any special friends. In high school I did. Mm, that's worse. Yeah. And I mean, my special friend went into ninth grade. If you want to call it special friend. I hate it here. Yeah. <laughs> it was the type, it's of, okay, it's the type get... of crush where it's like you can't talk to them, but you both like each other, but you never talk. Yeah. But like with my parents, it was like I wasn't allowed to date until I was 18 for some reason. Oh, I was awkward. Oh, that was it? Yeah, I was just like really awkward and they were really awkward. No, I had unlimited riz, so that was not an issue. <laughs> 
They called me. Tell me you had a limited risk in high school. They called me the the Rizzler. Well, I still don't have a limited risk. So if you could just give me some of that Riz. Yeah, top top five Riz. If moments. you were to actually rank your Riz from scale one to ten, how much? Uh, I'd just solid like eight. Eight. Yeah. Do you think you could pull a girl that's like three times as pretty as you? No. That's like a ten Riz. Yeah, exactly. So you could pull a girl that's like twice as pretty as you. I I think so. Okay. I like yeah. I I'd say it's just it's just about the person, like and the situation. Because most of the time, like at work, if if I'm ever talking to someone, like I I have to get in the right headspace for it. Because like when somebody walks up to the counter, all I'm thinking about is like get it like taking the tag, taking the sensors off, like scanning all the stuff and, yeah. and giving them their their stuff. Like I'm not Doing in the conversation <laughs> mood. Yeah, like because I'm I'm an introvert, so I have to like orient my my brain to like function yeah um so it's it's just about the the setting and the environment i think if i like the person my riz is like a solid seven uh-huh. but like if i were if you were like go talk to that random guy can't do it <laughs> i can't do it i can't flirt with yeah. that random mm-hmm. i have to like know them and like we have to have like kind of a friendship uh-huh. and then i could just be like flirt this flirt no I, I, for me it's it's more when i don't know them it's oh, easier for me no, to, no, no. To, to, to flirt when i don't know them at all no. But I've been told I'm very flirty. Cause like, and I've it, also heard that you're very flirty. <laughs> so we've had this to, conversation Only to the girls before. I like. No, I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you mean to be, but I think you give off very flirty energy. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, I yeah. think I do the same. Yeah, you definitely do. Yeah. We've talked about this before. <laughs> I think so. We were in the car at Taco Bell. <laughs> and, and Katie was with us. Yeah, of course. And uh-huh. Camden, maybe? Probably. They're always together. This is like... Yeah, uh-huh. this is my senior year of high school. When you I know sophomore. you're you're not the senior anymore. I'm th- I'm the senior now. Whoa, you're so old. <laughs> I know I'm an elderly woman. <laughs> Why did you change genders? <laughs> oh, that was hold on. Uh, we have one minute and forty seconds. Really quickly, what kind of old lady do you want to be? Oh, my dream is my dream is that my grandma name will be Granny Annie. <laughs> And I've had this dream for a really long ta- time. I want to get married, to have kids, to have grandkids, to be named Granny Annie. That's my dream. That's the course of events. And I want to be the kind of grandma who always has, like, cookies at her house. Oh, and mm-hmm. um, it's fun. Cool. I don't want to be a grandma that just stays at the house. Like, let's go, yeah. let's go do something fun. Let's uh-huh. go, like, zip lining. Pop a couple Zannies with, with Auntie Annie. <laughs> I'm not going to be on TV. <laughs> Granny Annie. A couple of Annie's with Granny Annie. <laughs> what kind of grandpa are you going to be? Um, I want to be a really wise old man. Like, like maybe bald with a big beard, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll skip the baldness just to have the big beard. Um, and baldness doesn't really run in my family, so I, I doubt that'll, that'll be that. But um, I, I really want to be just super wise and quiet until, like, people, people come talk mm. to me. Because, like, when you're old, I feel like you have that ability but when you're young like you have to talk to people Mm -hmm. but when you're old like people come to you and so I want to be like the guy who people come to for advice I want to be really loud (laughs) (laughs) I'm old what am I going to do I'm going to die anyways like I just want to be crazy (laughs) (laughs) alright how how long do we have 13 seconds Andy Glockner, it was amazing having you on the show. You should come back sometime after I have Jordan Peterson on. Okay, come on, when Jordan Peterson's on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're like, hey, I don't know.